Howdy ladies and gents, my name is Tom Gibson and in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I use the MX Master and certain quick keys on my keyboard to speed up my workflow when editing in Premiere Pro. All right, so first off, sorry for the super wide angle GoPro shot. I'm trying to get the mouse and the keyboard in the shot. Uh, but if you take a look right up here, you can see that you can adjust your specific applications of what you want the MX Master uh, buttons to do. So I have a regular set for my just the general system, and then I have specific shortcuts for Adobe Premiere. I'm using CS6. This button right here I've got for the delete, this delete or either one of these. This one um, is Command J, which is going to affect my speed. This one right here I have Option Delete. This one right here I've got horizontal scrolling. This one right here is actually down and this one is up. So to kind of see a little bit of how these are used, um, this one right here, the delete button, super easy. I don't have to go over here and hit delete, but instead I can just click and then hit with my thumb right here and it deletes. Uh, same with the ripple delete. I can do, instead of doing option delete, I can just click right here and then hit this button right here and it does the option delete. A pretty common shortcut a lot of people know is the Q and the W. Q is a ripple trim or delete to the beginning of the clip. So if I hit Q right here, it's gonna delete everything before it and it's gonna slide everything back to where it was, to the beginning of that where that playhead was. And same if I wanted to cut, if I wanted to cut the end of this clip off, if I hit W, but I didn't wanna go cut and then delete and then highlight all this and then bring it back, I can just hit the W right there and it takes care of that. I do a lot of stuff in slow motion and so I shoot at 60 frames per second. My camera unfortunately can't do a full 1080p at 60 frames per second. So typically I used to have to just right click, I'd scale it up to the frame size, let me slide this over, and then I would right click and then do the speed and the duration and go to 40%. Uh, with my quick keys, it's a little bit faster. I've actually scaled to frame size. Um, I did as Command R, so that scales it up. And then this scroll wheel button right here, I just click on the clip, the scroll wheel, and it does 40%. So that's a lot faster than right click and click, right click, click. Uh, I still have to get my hand off just to do the 40%, but that's not too bad. You may have noticed I'm trying to keep my left hand here on the left side of the keyboard and my right hand here on the mouse. So a few other things that I've done, if I wanted to bring a clip in right here, this is a shot from my classroom. Okay. Let's say I want my in point to be here. I've put in point as E, out point as R, and then if I want to bring it into the timeline, instead of using period or comma or whichever one the default is, I've changed that to Z. So that way I can just do in, out, and then on the timeline with my left hand. Additionally, uh, instead of doing J, K, and L to speed up and rewind and fast forward, um, I have four, five, and six. If I want to watch in reverse, I'll hit four. I want to stop at five, and six is fast forward. So it's a little bit of a stretch for the six, but not too big of a deal. And also, if I didn't, I used to have to go with my right hand to go between frames, next frame, back frame. But D and F, I can move between frames, uh, which is pretty helpful when I'm looking for one specific frame. And these two are pretty helpful if I want to go to the beginning of a frame or the end of a frame. You could probably switch them if it feels more natural to you, but for me, going down, uh, this bottom button feels like it should go backwards, and then the top button feels like it should go forward. Um, and this helps me jump between clips. And just a quick tip if you want to jump between clips, if you don't want to jump to the beginning and end of other clips, just don't highlight that track. Notice how it skips the beginning of this track, but if I click right there, then it goes to the beginning of it. So that's pretty helpful. You can go to the beginning and the end with audio as well. And finally, instead of doing the plus and the minus for my zooming in and zooming out and getting my the slash for the full, uh, full timeline, I, can, I use one and two. One to zoom out, two to zoom in, and then three to show me my full timeline from beginning to end. So that's how I use my Logitech MX Master and my keyboard shortcuts to speed up my workflow when editing in Premiere Pro. If you have any questions about anything that I did or have any suggestions on how I can make it better, let me know in the comments. And if you're interested in future tutorials like this, hit that subscribe button. I'll go ahead and put up my channel trailer and another video that YouTube thinks you might be interested in. Thanks so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next video.